This is an object being reflected by the sun. I believe it's the one that everyone gets a picture of right behind the sun. This is the actual object. I'm taking this right now in Kentucky. Pulled over. I'm in a cemetery. And I'm filming this as we speak. This object, I can put it anywhere in the sky I want because I'm catching it bouncing off the sun. But this object is real. And whatever it is, it's there. It's spinning, it's blue, and it's moving. And it's there every day, and it's been there every day for, I'm not sure, months. I've noticed it for very many months now. And anytime the sun is visible in the sky, you can catch it with your camera. Anybody can. Just go outside, snap off a picture with the sun in your frame, and then look for the blue dot. Sometimes it's a fainter dot, sometimes it's a brighter dot. Doesn't matter where the dot is because it's being reflected. This object is real, people. Everyone takes a picture of it. Everyone has it, but they all call it lens flare. This is not a lens flare. This is a real object. Anybody can do this, and many people have. And a lot of you need to go back and relook at your pictures. Blow them up. Take a look at that dot you're calling a lens flare. It's not a lens flare. It's a reflection of the planet. Probably the red planet that everyone takes a picture of calling it the second sun. I don't think that's it. I think it's this thing. And I think this thing looks red because it's so close to the sun. So when you take a picture of it and you get it by the sun, it's going to be red. But this reflection of it clearly indicates it's not red at all. Now perhaps I'm wrong about that. Perhaps there are two objects in the sky, which we all know there's eight coming, so it's very possible that this object is somewhere else in the sky being reflected. I'm not 100% sure on that, but what I am sure is everybody's taking a picture of this and nobody's noticing it. So I beg you please blow this up, look for the blue dot, I'm calling it the blue star kachina. Thanks for watching.